Hey dudes, hey dudettes, my name's Beach Boy, and I live on the big isle in Hawaii, and I've been living here for close to 40 years. That's right, I'm the Beach Boy. Well, I may not be a boy so much, but I love my life. I sleep underneath the bush, I got my little tent, I got my dog, and you can hear the little frogs in the background and stuff, and the waves washing up and back and forth. I have great life. But I've noticed recently that all this trash is just coming up on my beach now. I've made efforts. I pick it up, I pick it up, I pick it up and clean it. But every day it comes in from Coca-Cola. It comes in from all these Chinese and Japanese and Korean countries. What are they doing? Do they not even have trash cans in these countries? Are they just, just dumping their shit in the ocean for it to wash up on the big isle? Man... I'm just tired of this. For 40 years, I've been seeing this trash get more and more and more. And now it's to a point where, you know, what's going to happen when I'm gone? It seems like people nowadays just think that this is normal. Well, guys, this ain't normal. You know, so I've decided to launch a Kickstarter campaign to stop this. I want you to fund me. I want you to fund Beach Boy so I can basically get other Beach Boys out there and we will... Clean up and pick up all the stuff. Man, I launched my campaign, guys. And I got a big fat zero. What's up with that? Why wouldn't anyone give? Does no one care about the fact that our beaches and our rivers and everything has just become one big river of plastic? Come on, guys. I'm going to do an Indiegogo campaign. What the fuck? Come on! No one cares about our beaches? You bunch of losers, man. What do you do? You just sit in your corporate office drinking your Cokes and watching your, your, your TV and, your, and whatever it is that else you do? You know, you drive your sportsy cars and you live in those big apartments? Well, dude, I'm on the beach. I see it every day and this shit ain't going away and it's getting worse. What's up with you guys? Why can't you guys help me clean up the beach? What's up? What's this thing found up? What's this found up thing? Huh. Okay, let me press this button. It says, what's the pain? And I got to make a video. Okay, I'll press the button. This is the pain. The pain is, look at this shit. The pain is this stuff comes in all oh, every day and I'm the beach boy and I'm going to pick it up. That's what I'm going to do. This is the pain because I live here. And these guys, these Chinese and these Japanese and these Koreans and everyone and everyone else and these tankers are just shitting in my ocean. It's unfair. I want it cleaned up. I'm the beach boy. Okay, I've done that part. Okay, this next part. It says, what's your solution? Solution. Solution. My solution. I got an idea. Click. Here we go. Here's my solution. I'm going to take all this beach junk. You know, there's that famous graffiti guy who makes all this money just by, you know, Papsy Dapsy. Can't remember his damn name, but I've heard about him. He's like supposed to be like this miracle worker. Well, I'm going to make Beach Boy art. That's right. Beach Boy art. That I'm then going to sell to all these suckers that come around here and say, hey, buy some of my Beach Boy art. That's my solution. Okay, what's my outcome? Well, damn it, look, I'll have a clean beach. I'll have a beach that I can enjoy every day without looking. Okay, launch. Now, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Three little videos, click launch. Hey guys, check this out. Check out this video by this idiot called Beach Boy. Look at him. He's on the big aisle and he's <laughs> check this out. This is just too funny. Oh my god. Hey, let me look at that. Huh. Well, the person looking at it happens to be Stephen Tao. Now, Stephen Tao is what we call in found ups an archangel. An archangel is someone that has taken an idea kind of like a startup, and done its, its um, IPO. But in Foundups, we don't have IPOs. We have OPOs, which stand for Open Public Offering. It's the point where a Foundup basically becomes a company. It becomes separate. It launches its own DOA. It launches its own 
DAC, uh, D, DAC is Decentralized Autonomous Corporation, right? So, you know, as everyone laughed at Beach Boy, he saw something, you know, and Tao's like, you know what? I'm going to join his team. Now, you have to understand, Tao in the realm of found-ups is kind of like a Bill Gates or like um, a Hoff or a Dave McClure, right? But no one really knows about him except for, you know, they, his little icon and he's got this little thing. And they know him because, you know, he chooses to have the horns. Remember, an archangel can be have horns or it can have a halo. Now, the more times that an archangel actually takes it, found it through the process, the more prominent his horns or his, his halo, the choice is theirs, right, becomes. Well, Tao's one of those individuals that has a pretty, pretty impressive, you know, uh, record. And people follow him. People listen to him. And the moment he selects join, all of a sudden, across the ticker of found-ups, says, Stephen Tao joins Beach Boy. And those who follow Stephen all of a sudden are like, what's this Beach Boy? And they watch and say, what the heck is Tao? What is going on? Why is he following and doing this found-up with Beach Boy. Well, Tao, it turns out, is extremely passionate and he can identify having grown up on the beach and knowing what, you know, what it's like and, and, and remembering as a child when there wasn't any, that much trash. And now he comes back as an adult and it's like, oh my God. And he's like, you know what? If I can inspire and help this guy, maybe we can inspire others. So the first thing that Beach Boy does with, with, with Steven on his team is they come up with a logo. And this is crazy ass logo of, of Beach Boy basically assaulting sea garbage, right? And it's just this wacky ass drawing. Well, that becomes IP. And the first thing you do in, in a found up is as the money comes in is you secure the trademark for your found up. And that goes into what we call the found up commons. Somewhat like the creative commons, but with a big difference. The found up commons defends its IP against others from using it or stealing it, which they regularly do from the Creative Commons. There is no policing of the Creative Commons. It really makes it a pointless thing. If you've got something that basically is an honor-bound system, it just doesn't work. So FoundUps doesn't work that way. And the first thing a FoundUp does is secure that IP. So he secures that, and he also um, adds more people. Well, all of a sudden... What happens is other people get inspired. He starts making these videos, sharing him, picking up the trash, and he shares it on his log just by the simple phone, just videos. And he has the video logs that people can watch, and you can only watch him if you're a member, so you can't just watch his videos. You can see his thing, but all of a sudden you see ticker tape saying, you know, Jose joined, and someone, someone put, you know, bought uh, 50 steaks and Beach Boy and, and so on and so on. And next thing you know, the noodle takes notice. And the noodle is basically an algorithm, somewhat like the Google algorithm, that ultimately pushes your found up autonomously to potential investors based on their liking. Just like Google knows kind of what ads you like, the noodle knows what kind of things you like or you want, you'd want to invest in. The other thing, too, is in found ups, because you're going to have potentially millions of found ups happening all at once. There's no way you can watch a million videos. I mean, you just do nothing else but watch found up. So in found ups, we have something called, which is also powered by the noodle, something called um, um, autonomous crowdfunding, right? Or distributive crowdfunding. So you press your distributed crowdfunding and based on your likes and follows all everything else, it automatically invests your found up into these organizations. Now, you may say, well, how, I may not have that much money. Well, you may not have, but ultimately, if you are like, like Stephen Dow, Tao, Toll, <laughs> if you're like Stephen, and he's gone through, he actually, every time a stakeholder basically launches, he gets his own kind of, what's known as a, uh, a C Dow wallet, right? Where the percentages of the net profits that are shared with all the stakeholders are actually distributed in your own wallet that you can spend and you can put into found ups of your pleasing. 
And ultimately, what happens is you can have potentially just too much uh, money to physically uh, go in from one to one. So you just say distributed crowdfunding. You press a button and it automatically does. You look at your list. You can, you know, like a spam filter. And you can actually do some cool things with it. Like, hey, I want to put 100 found up dollars in the ones that are, that are basically um, c closest to me. And then I'll put $10 in the ones that are one step removed from me. Okay? Meaning um, the algorithm is, is calculating how closely you're paired and matched. Now, the algorithm actually does a cool thing, a simple thing. It doesn't look to try to figure out what you like. What it does instead is it tries to find and figure out who else is on the blockchain that likes like you. So when other people like stuff, it basically asks the question, oh, so-and-so like this and so-and-so like this. Well, maybe so-and-so, he will like this. So it's constantly asking this question. And in this process, ultimately what it does is it will, over time, find your, what I call your found up soulmates and your found up soulmates ultimately you'll never meet you'll never know um, but your investments and stuff well you actually may because you may end up joining the teams and other things of them and you'll make new friends that way um, but anyway back to Beach Boy so Beach Boy all of a sudden launches it becomes a massive success thousands of individuals around the world become Beach Boys they take the IP. They start making his art. And he teaches how to make it because he's been making beach art for years, right? And he allows people to put Beach Boy, which that's part of his IP, on it, right? Um, and because one of the things about Found Ups is all about sustainability. So in Found Ups, what we, we don't want to be shipping stuff. So if you want Beach Boy art, you know, we can't, it, Beach Boy wouldn't send it to you because it's not, you know, you'd have to go to the big aisle and pick it up and bring it home um, because the moment you stick something on a ship, it becomes unsustainable, right? The moment you stick it. So what, the way we get around that is, hell, you want Beach Boy art, just get it from the Beach Boy that's, uh, that's actually creating it down from your beach. And you're actually, when you buy this art, and all of a sudden his heart art is in Google and it's displayed here and it becomes, it becomes this huge, massive endeavor. Um, so... Beach Boy, he goes, man, he spends his time traveling around, talking about how he started as Beach Boy, just a homeless guy on the beach. And now he's inspiring millions of people to be proactive, to pick up their beaches. And their actions and everything is funded through not only uh, contributions through the, um, uh, our, our app, but ultimately also through the capital gains and net profits that all these found ups generate as they launch as an OPO. Because a found up when it launches an OPO has to return 20 to 100% of its net profit based on how the smart contract is written back to the DAO, right? And the DAO then basically puts that money, it distributes it around to all the stakeholders and it gives them a special wallet to spend it from. And in this special wallet, the interesting feature of money in this special wallet is it basically evaporates back into the DAO. So it's kind of like it will slowly flow. I think there's a river and your, and your money is slowly flowing. That's not your money. Basically, it's money provided to you. Now, why do we do this? Well, it's really simple. One of the biggest problems with startups is basically gatekeepers. Access to capital. Gatekeepers, right? Closed capital networks, access to capital. You got to go through all these, these applications and filings. All of a sudden, that's gone. There is no filing. There's no applications. What we're doing is creating a free flow of, of um, found up credits back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, and ultimately, Beach Boy launches and becomes. Now, I'm Beach Boy and I'm back, man. Thanks a lot for supporting me. But I have a solution now. I'm going to launch my next found up. Now understand, Beach Boy now is an archangel, right? He's got his little horns. He's now taken seriously. No one's laughing at Beach Boy anymore, right? So ultimately, his next idea, let me show you his next idea. Beach Boy, tell us your next idea. Yeah, here, 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 dude. Here's my next idea, man. I've been thinking. I've been traveling and thinking. And I've got it. You know how the oceans are rising because we have this, this, this centralized business model that treats 
all the damage it does to the world is this externalities, which basically means, hey, it's just the cost of doing business. So, hey, climate change. Hey, it's just the cost of doing business. Hey, deforestation. Oh, dude, it's just the cost of doing business. Hey, man, we fished 90% of all the large fish, and they're pretty much all gone. Ah, cost of doing business, dude. That's okay. All the plastic, all the, and not even talking about the microplastics, Dude, that are in the fish and everything you're eating. Hey, man, just the cost of doing business. And that fracking stuff and poisoning our drinking water, it's an externality. Just the cost of doing business. Well, it's all bullshit and all that needs to end. But I have an idea and have a solution. The Beach Boy always has a solution. What I'm going to do is this. We're going to take the plastic and we're going to make islands. We're going to make islands out of plastic. And we're going to live on these islands. And even if all the world goes under because of, of rising sea levels, it won't matter. Because we'd be on our plastic islands floating around out there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to build plastic islands with no taxes. And we're going to make them sustainable. We're going to anchor them down. And the fish are going to live under there. And we can have fish and everything else. And, and some places around the ocean, there's actually water springs that come up. We'll make sure we set them around one of those places there. That's it, man. Beach Boy Island. I want you to get behind my project. And I'm putting my found-up dollars into it. And because I'm a, you know, I'm an archangel. And I've chosen the horns. Because, you know, Lucifer was an archangel. And I think Lucifer was kind of cool. I don't think he was bad at all. He was just trying to stand up to the man. And that's all we've been trying to do, you know? Stand up to the man. We gotta start fighting for our planet. We gotta start fighting for everything. So there you go. There's my story of basically a guy who has this idea, who couldn't launch his crowdfunding campaigns on Kickstarter and everything else, but turns around and is successful in Foundups. He's successful in Foundups mainly because of this. Is what we've done on Foundups is eliminated those barriers. You don't have to basically beg and chase down people who you don't know or maybe you do know with your social networks and beg them to give, all right? You don't have to do that. The Noodle, an autonomous agent, will do that for you. It's called passive crowdfunding. And ultimately, when someone likes and someone follows or shares to your found up, that person is actually getting um, found up credits for that action, right? Small amounts, but a person who does it a lot is actually, you know, it's like, it's kind of like um, mining. And ultimately, moving on to mining, found ups in its sense, the action of doing found ups will become mining. So we're using mining to get found ups going, but once found ups take off and m the mining finishes, the act of doing found ups becomes the mining. My name is Mike Trout. I hope you enjoyed the story of Beach Boy and how he cleaned up all the beaches. And I hope that story becomes true. And I hope someone launches a, a Beach Boy found up and, um, you know, starts selling basically, you know, plastic art and then becomes, does their OPO. And you have to understand every time someone basically takes his IP and uses it, the valuation of his found up goes up, right? And you have to think of their, their, their action is just, they become kind of like um, a hollow or a, or a child of his, of his initiative. So, you know, one guy becomes 100,000 guys all working to clean up the planet and then using the, pla using the plastic for making um, maybe CNC router, not CNC router, 3D printer, plastic, and other things that can be future found-ups generated around his one found-up. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this little fun little talk I had.